Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a love reading. So let's just see what shows up in this area. This could be for singles or coupled Pisces, even those in situationships. Um, whatever the context is, you may receive some messages in this reading. But remember that every single person is going through something slightly different, different context, okay? So take whatever resonates for you and leave the rest. Thank you so much for being here. I just finished a, a reading that was kind of strange. I was using a deck that's black and white, so if you haven't, uh, if you haven't seen it, I think you should. It's very strange. I'm a, I'm a little bit kind of like, I don't know, weirded out, to be honest. But this already feels so different. Universe, please bring in the most relevant, accurate, and important messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance. Love and romance for Pisces. All right, so first card that we got here, Wheel of Fortune. Right now, you are in this moment exactly where you need to be. Living exactly what you need to live. Experiencing the exact problems, the exact discomforts, the exact joy that you are meant to be living. Okay? So having that said, some of you... Some of you have had a rough ride with um, love. Okay? I'm just gonna flat out say it. It hasn't been the easiest thing for some of you. It hasn't been necessarily pleasant. You know, I feel I feel like there's good things and you know heavy things, but ultimately, Pisces, I see that many are many of you are moving into a space of maturity and power and like authority over yourselves maybe in the past whether you are in a connection or not maybe in the past you've had to be strong you know you had to you had to find the strength within you maybe for your kids or maybe for yourself or maybe to keep going after something very intense very heavy a breakup a divorce some kind of toxic relationship you were forced to see how strong you were pisces and now that you know the strength that you have within you, it's like you're carrying it into the future. Not only the strength, it was always there. You're carrying the awareness of that strength into the future. Some of you, if you're getting at this time, getting to know an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or someone who has a lot of fire in their chart, this person they seem to be in your near future. Now, of course, this is not going to be resonating to everybody. But if you are starting something new with someone with these very fiery characteristics, someone who's passionate, someone who's intense, who's fun and adventurous and impulsive and spontaneous, then um, this message could be for you. Things are moving into that direction. This person has always been sort of meant to be in your life know that in every area of life the wheel turns up and they turn down and up and down in the sense of sometimes love is great sometimes love is not great sometimes this relationship is great sometimes the relationship is not that great and right now pisces I feel like some of you are getting settled into a better reality here. Someone is definitely dealing with a Leo here. I feel like some of you are... For those of you who are single, let's put it this way. For those of you who are single, know that there is someone in your future this could be a fire sign. This could be someone who's a little older than you. Someone who's very passionate. And know that all the things that you have gone through, that strength is what's making you ready for this love. 
You may not be in the best place right now for that love. You may be thinking a lot about someone else. You could be thinking a lot about a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But the universe and God wants you to know that things are settling down and there is love in your destiny. Okay, so someone here, some of you, were just thinking, love is not in the cards for me. Pun intended. Um, it's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Like that is just the way it is. And Spirit is saying here, don't lose the faith. Don't lose the faith because first, there are people around you who can help you manifest this. You got the magician in the environment. Don't lose the faith. Right now you're giving yourself kind of like the sentence of saying, that's just not going to happen. But Spirit is telling you here, there are possibilities. Okay? Now, if you are in a current partnership, it is divinely guided. You may be thinking about someone outside of the partnership. Could that be? Maybe an air sign. Some of you are in this moment feeling the intricacy of it all. Maybe you're going through a rough time in the partnership, even though it is a great one. There's ups and there's downs. Some of you perhaps are having a challenge with a tower moment. Maybe happening in your life or in your partner's life. Something that sort of crumbled and fell apart and now you're building it back up. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the relationship that's going through that. For some of you, it may. But for others, it's like maybe your spouse got fired and there is this whole thing that crumbled and now you're putting it back together, working together. Maybe something happened in your life. Maybe something happened in the place that you live. And the challenge is this tower that is kind of getting back on track. Let's see. For those of you in situationships, know that you have the strength to conquer anything and everything that comes your way. Know that you have the strength to overcome difficulties from the past and that the best is ahead of you if you choose to move forward. In the near future, I see like a father. So your father, if, if he is on the other side, meaning he has already passed on, he may be kind of like a spirit guide helping you in this area of your life. Take it if it resonates. If it doesn't, maybe you are coming into contact to or with someone who is a father. There is someone around you. Could be a Gemini, a magician here. This person around you, they have the ability to see. This could be someone who's psychic, someone who's a light worker, a healer, um, a coach, or something along those lines. And this person that is around you can help you heal the broken heart or the closed heart that some of you have. Some of you really want love, but you don't want to heal in order to open up to that love. Maybe there is resentment, maybe there's pain, maybe there is a lot of trauma. And some of you are like, I want the love, but I'm, if I have to go through the trauma to get the love, then I don't want the love. And Spirit here is reminding you that love is, you know, very healing, very beautiful, and it could be worth it. Of course, that decision is yours, Pisces, obviously. But you're being advised here to tap into your intuition, into your emotions, and know that it's worth it. Know that for every single person watching here, whether you are single, coupled, or in situationships, I see that it's like the universe wants you to know that if you want love, you can have love. All right? But it does seem... Like, there is healing that needs to take place. It does seem necessary for you to release a little bit of the past, understand how you feel about the past and all that. 
in order to make uh, things start flowing. Because the challenge here being the tower. Oh, and that's his crown. I hadn't realized that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this could be a tower moment that someone else is going through. That this person is going through. So you may connect with someone who's going through a really hard time. This could be a father. Um, or this could be someone who's struggling with their father somehow. Maybe someone who has recently lost their father. And you may be going through the situation with them. It may be a difficult one. They may be, their world may be really shaken up. But I see here that in the future, you know, there's a lot of promise. There's a lot of potential for success here. The sun is the most positive card, Pisces. And you have it here in what the universe wants you to know. There is love. There is light. There is potential. There is happiness. But there is also pain from the past. This is the card that is representing you right now. It's the Ten of Swords, and it's not pretty, <laughs> as you can see. It's not that pretty, Pisces. And that just means that you've had a lot of things go south, a lot of disappointments, a lot of heartache. And at some point, maybe you thought it was better not to stand up again. You know what I mean? You may have been knocked down time and time again, and at some point you were like, you know what? I'm good. I'm going to stay in the ground. I don't think love is worth continuing to, you know, get back up and get my, you know, get all the dust off and try again. Some of you at some point were like, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I see here that an air sign may be thinking a lot about you as well. They could be in the environment. There may be an important conversation that is going to be taking place here, Pisces. You may be very defensive. You may be uh, harsh to someone. This could be someone who is thinking about having some kind of exchange with you. This could have been someone who disappointed you in the past, and now they want to come in here and propose something that they have no business to, you know, proposing. And I feel like some of you are really going to need to tap into that patience of yours because it can be kind of troubling. It could be very triggering and annoying. Some of you who are in relationships, you may be almost like before this relationship you're in gets more serious or more committed before you get engaged or get married or something, it seems like you're going to get some kind of test here or someone is going to just kind of like show up out of nowhere and try to make you doubt or try to make you feel a certain way. I don't know. Um, but it seems like that's not of your interest, Pisces. Take it if it resonates. So bottom line, for those of you who are single, keep your eyes on the possibility of love. You can have it. Healing is recommended. For those of you in situationships, Look for something that is equal, that is balanced. But I feel like, you know, you're probably going to do good with this person, especially if they're a fire sign. And for those of you who are in a relationship, it seems here that if your partner is going through something difficult, try to do your best to be there for them. And if it's the other way around, let them be there for you. Know that if you are in a relationship that seems to be headed into some kind of commitment soon, um, there may be someone from your past wanting to tempt you, okay? So that's kind of like a test there that you're going to need to 
go through, all right? Interesting, interesting reading, Pisces. I love you so much. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for hanging out with me. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading.